So you're finally ready, set up to teach online or pre-record a lecture. You've spent countless hours in Streamlabs OBS or OBS, making sure that your students have the best possible experience. And then 10 minutes before your lesson starts, your mouse starts glitching. You get the rainbow wheel of death every five seconds. So you restart your computer, you reboot everything, and it still happens. And you get to a point where you're about ready to throw your computer out the window. So I'm gonna try to save you the countless hours of pulling your hair out and offer some tips on possible issues and definite solutions to those possible issues right now. Like, comment, subscribe, let's go. First things first, my guess is that if you've gone through all the general troubleshooting things and you're still experiencing slow computer lag whenever you boot up your programs like Streamlabs OBS or Zoom or these other things that we're, uh, we're using when we're teaching, it's probably your CPU. CPU is basically your computer's brain power. This is a really common issue for Mac users because the CPU is very limited and there's no way to actually add more of it. But there's a really easy way to diagnose if this is the issue and some suggestions that I have for possible fixes. Okay, so the first thing is finding if it is in fact a CPU issue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. You can see my very clean desktop here. Go over to the spotlight, click on that, and you're gonna type activity monitor. And open up this application, and you're gonna see everything that's going on here. You see process names, CPU, CPU time, threads, blah, blah, blah. All we need to worry about is CPU percent. We're gonna click that and make sure that it categorizes CPU usage um, from highest to lowest. So right now I'm not using that much, right? Down here you can see that I have 89% idle on my computer. That's really good. That means I'm, I should be running really, really smoothly. Um, and here you can see that QuickTime Player is using 18%, um, screen, screen Capture is using 17, etc. right? Now if I, if I load up OBS Streamlabs, for example, let me just click that. Let's watch what happens to the, the CPU. I, so I load it up and all of a sudden OBS is at the top um, using a lot more CPU percentage than anything else uh, at all, right? And I'm only now down to idle 42%. Now, that's pretty good. That's, that's totally fine to stream. Even if I were to open up Zoom, it wouldn't go up that much. Really the number you wanna look for to see if it, the CPU is a problem is this idle number. You want the higher idle number, the better. If you're getting into the 10%, the 5%, the 3%, that's probably where you're gonna be experiencing the lag in your mouse or the rainbow wheel or whatever issues that you're experiencing. So this is where we're gonna diagnose the issue. Now, possible causes for this, say you bought a new MacBook a year ago and everything's going fine and you're, you're you're using it for your emails and this and that and all of a sudden we have to do this online teaching and we're using our computers we're plugging in all these USB cables or USB adapters and then your computer just gets slow well that's probably just because your computer can't really handle all the stuff you're trying to do now that sounds really depressing and sad and makes you want to throw the computer out the window like I have been thinking about consistently for quite a while but there are ways around it so first things first if it's a CPU issue, it's probably only when you're trying to do something that's high computer intensive. CPU just stands for central processing unit, which is like the brains of your computer, right? If it's trying to do a lot of different things, it's gonna get tired and taxed. So using the activity monitor to see what's being done is a helpful tool. The other thing is that if you're on a laptop, just make sure it's plugged into the adapter. That might not seem like a big issue, but actually it does help quite a bit. There are also fan issues with MacBook Pros, for example. I've heard of that being a problem. If your fan is not operating properly, your computer's overheating, which is then causing more strain on the CPU, that's another thing. So I would get that fixed as soon as possible. But the big issue that's probably causing it all is the fact that you're likely plugging so many things in to your computer via USB cable that your computer just can't handle. We can see if this is a thing through something called kernel task, and you can actually see it in my activity monitor here. Uh, it's right now it's not working at all. It's right here, this one. Kernel task is just kind of a system, a bunch of systems in your computer that keep it from overheating. So if you see that your kernel task CPU is very high, it's probably because you have a lot of things plugged into your computer, right? Like your webcam and your external mic and your ring light and all of these things that we need to teach online might be the thing that's actually slowing you down. So if you're like me and you have every single one of your USB ports plugged in, or if you have, for example, a newer MacBook with USB-C ports, and then you have to use adapters and then it looks like a fire hazard, you're probably gonna be running a high kernel task because it's trying to keep your computer from overheating. Now, sometimes it can get tricked into having a high CPU usage. It could be because you're using a USB dock. One USB plugs into multiple other USBs to accommodate all of your other things that you have plugged in. That could be an issue and you can see that if kernel task is running really high. 
Now that could be problematic if you need all those USB ports to facilitate your teaching or your recording. One way around that is to use a powered USB dock. They actually sell them where they have their external power source where they plug into a, a, an outlet. And I will link one that I'm using right now that has helped a lot in the description below. But keep in mind, if you're plugged in with three USB ports and the fourth one is going to a USB dock with seven different ports and that's plugged in, you're still probably going to be running high CPU. Unfortunately, that's probably the best advice I could give at this point. And you really just have to self-diagnose given your particular setup. If you have specific questions and you're still struggling with things, be sure to join my Discord and post in the Tech Help channel. Moral of the story, if your Mac's running slow, it's probably the CPU. And while you can't actually fix that, you can work around it by using the activity monitor and see what's actually draining your computer's brain power. Workarounds include restarting it, plugging it in, fixing the fan issue, and getting a powered USB dock if you need to. I hope that helps. Be sure to check out my other tech help videos for setting up your online teaching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, the whole shebang. All right, I'll see you next time.